Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I wanna show you guys how we can connect our OpenCTI and our Hive instance to where we can now start to bring Hive cases that have been created into our OpenCTI platform and eventually we'll populate our events tab here. So of course, prereqs for this video, uh, you need to have the Hive installed and running. If you haven't checked out our few previous videos of when we went through the OpenCTI install using Docker uh, and familiarizing you guys with the connectors, which will be what we will use to uh, to connect our OpenCTI to the Hive instance, uh, I'll link those videos in the description below. So please make sure you check those out before progressing to this one or some of these steps here may be a little confusing to you but let's go ahead and get into it uh so first things first we need to add our hive connector so i'm going to need to go into OpenCTI's connector repo which i'll link in the description below and if we go into our external import directory external import path here and scroll down we will see one for the hive so we'll go ahead and select the hive we will select the docker compose file i'll go ahead and select the raw um, and i am going to copy uh, this block here, which will be responsible for connecting our OpenCTI to our Hive instance. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go into Portainer. I'm going to go into my OpenCTI stack, select the editor. And so I'm going to scroll down and I will add a new line there and I will paste our Hive connector in. Uh, maybe. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Uh, all right. And now let's. Actually, let me grab the depends on OpenCTI block and paste that there. Okay, and now let's change our OpenCTI URL to match uh, just what we have in the default. So this will point to the container uh, that is actually running the OpenCTI platform. So we'll paste that in there. We need our token, which will point to our environment uh, variable that we added a few videos back. So I'll go ahead and paste that there. And we need to generate a new connector ID, which needs to be a random UUID. So I'll go ahead and generate that and copy that and throw that into here. All right, and now let's actually configure to point to our Hive instance. So we're gonna point to our Hive URL uh, and our API key. So my Hive instance uh, is listening at this address. So I'm going to copy that. And for my URL, I'm going to paste that in there. So I'm going to point to my Hive instance uh, that's running here. Uh, my API key, so I actually need to generate that real quick. So within the Hive, if I go into organization, uh, for my user here, I'm going to create an API key and reveal that and copy that and paste that as my value here. Uh, my SSL check, I am not using SSL, so I'm gonna set this to false. And we need to change our organization name to match what ours is set to. Mine is set to open secure, so I'll go ahead and copy that and paste that here, and that should be it. So. We have those settings uh, saved, or we have we have our Hive connector configured. Now, if we scroll down, we'll go ahead and say update the stack, and we should see our uh, the Hive data connector container be spun up and should then connect to our Hive instance. And we'll verify that here in a sec. So it looks like the stack has been deployed. If I go into containers here, and let me search for the Hive. Uh, we can look at the logs and it looks like our connector uh, is looking good. So it has able to connect to the hive. If we go into OpenCTI, go into data, go into connectors, we also see our hive, uh, our new hive connector here. So we can select this guy and that's all looking good. And so now let's go ahead and actually create a case. So I'll select a case and I'll say test alert. Uh, let's give it a description of please subscribe. I'll go ahead and create this case. And I'll add an observable. I'll add like an IP and I'll just say 1.1.1.1. And I'll add a tag of just test and I'll go ahead and create that. All right. And now, so now within a few minutes here, um, 
Let's see, it looks like it's run again. And so now if we go back into our OpenCTI, if we go back into connectors, so now we see the hive starting or so now we see our hive connector starting to actually work and it looks like it's completed. So what this should have done is grabbed our case and some of the details of our case that we just created. So if I go back in OpenCTI and select the events tab, you see our test alert is now an event and this is coming directly from the hive. Uh, which is really cool. So now if I select this guy, we see the description as please subscribe, uh, any observables. So we see our observable of our 1.1.1 was created. Uh, we see the author, so which pertains to the org within the hive, which is open secure. To the knowledge, we see again, our one reservable, uh, observable and here we kind of get like a timeline and a kill chain of some stuff. So that's pretty cool. And so we've now connected the hive to open CTI. And then if we go into our observables, we also see our new value that we just added, right? Our 1.1.1 and it came in with the label of test because within the hive, <laughs> the within the hive, the label that we assigned our observable here was test. So pretty cool. So we're now able to ingest everything into the hive. And so, yeah, it's as easy as that. Um, so it's actually, uh, use, again, using Docker for your open CTI stack is what I highly recommend just because it's a lot easier to not only install open CTI, but to also add connectors at an ad hoc basis very easily. It's like what we did with the Hive here. So I think that wraps it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.